Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies with our first ever Angel's Envy Port Finished Bourbon. First ever? I thought we did this once. We have not. Well, we shall test it! Angel style? Angel's Envy Scotch Test Dummy style. The Angel's Envy. I was actually Richie Z had a suggestion to swap that up instead of having the different styles or whatever you say we're gonna do Angel's Envy Scotch Test Dummy style. What would be the switch up there then? Give it to me. Well, we would say we got Angel's Envy and we're gonna mm -hmm. test it, and then we'd say like port mm -hmm. finish style or so we say Kansas style. So it would always be. I kind of like on the fly. We make yeah. shit up though. I'm just saying Richie Z. I don't, I don't trust the Z. <laughs> Scotch test dummy style. That'd be the same every time. Mm -hmm. So it's Angel's Envy. Scotch test dummy style. 43.3%. He might be on to something. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Wow. Poor my little lighter. Oh, drunkard. Hello. Hell. You leaving it in a bottle? <laughs> Look at that. You like killed already. Well, I had, I've had a couple of fours at home. <laughs> 43%. Sure. You got <laughs> to pour more to equal out. All right. So Angel's Envy, though, this, this, this particular one, the port finished bourbon, a lot of people start out with this. They say, man, Angel's Envy was the first bourbon that I got into, but I haven't gone to it for a long time. Hmm. Um, at the 43%, just from my testing it at home, it is, it's good, it's light, it's sweeter. And I can see what, how people kind of move on, though, once their palates become a little bit more experienced. Experienced palates. Woo, nice, boy, dusty, almost corn and rye. Sweetness. A little brown sugar. I can get a little bit of like a cherry port, though. Hmm. Yeah, there's, I mean, that's probably a lot of the sweetness that I get, along with the caramels. Vanillas. Oh, you know what? What? I don't know Pause what. that. We're going to pause that. Coins. Come back. Had to get some coins. Oh. oh. Coin style. Had to get some coins. Zero, eight, nine. Right. I've got uh, zero, nine, one. All right. So we were just talking about the nose, sweetness. Yeah, I get a little dusty. Dusty barn. Yeah. Still a dusty corn, dusty rye, sweet sweetness, sweet caramel. Who is the 80s character like in some movie called Dusty? Look that one. See if they got it in the comments already. I want to say it's something that, uh, what's his name from uh, the actor that was in Red Dawn and Ghost? Patrick Swayze. Wasn't he called Dusty in some movie? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think. I know. I, it just hit me. Road, dusty. Was he Dusty in Roadhouse? Was he Dusty? <sighs> really has a nice palate. It is lighter at the 43%. Nice. Well, I think it's the port finish. The port sweetness is really kind of smoothing it out. Just yeah. making it smooth from start to finish yep gives me more vanillas mm -hmm. and weirdly which is a non-flavor note the 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 taste of mahogany came into mind and i don't know why mahogany mm. doesn't taste mm -mm. it looks but for some reason i kept thinking mahogany but what is that why How about sandalwood yeah yeah okay because even in the um and my circular angry chipmunk breathing, I get a nice uh, sweet vanilla with uh, mm, coconut influences. Love mm -hmm. the coconut aftertaste. That's interesting. To me, it's almost like a, uh, a melted marshmallow mm. and caramel syrup mm. together. Mm. With the, you took the whisk. Whipped it up. I'll use a blender. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. As I say, I, I can see how... It's approachable. It's approachable. Right. It's very, and it's very sweet. It's very good. It's very nice. Very smooth. Yeah. Um, and I can see why a lot of people say this was their first bourbon. This was their favorite. Mm. They drank it. But then I they moved away it. from it. Doesn't bite just you. Haven't, just haven't gone back. It doesn't bite it. you on the first sip. And then it has a nice, sweet, mellow finishing. Because mm -hmm. you're right. The marshmallow cream, the coconut cream. Mm. Mm. It's almost like a, a coconut meringue custard thing not meringue but coconut pie and there is there is another layer of of sweetness it's not really separating itself or standing out its port but it's just not the usual bourbon sweetness you know that's in there right. it, there is another layer well there's less it. caramels yeah and more cream yeah But usually, you know, maybe the brown, your heavy brown sugar, or your heavy cinnamon, cinnamon stuff like that. Not necessarily here. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown. But the, there's another layer of sweetness that's probably the port, but it's not really distinguishing itself as port. And we've never reviewed an Angel's Envy. Mm -hmm. Fact is, it had, I'd never even seen Angel's Envy here in our area until this one showed up several months ago. Hmm. And fact is, uh, my wife was even telling me at work a couple weeks ago, two guys were arguing over it. Wow. Because one of the guys she works with said he just bought Angel's Envy, I think at Groves or somewhere. And another guy goes, Angel's Envy, you can't buy that here. He goes, well, by God, I did. <laughs> he goes, no, nah, it's not in our market. He goes, well, I just bought it Saturday. And so you're calling this, me a liar? <laughs> got this back and forth. Because it had, it's literally Angel's Envy. It's not just in this up. market. <laughs> the idea that, wow, where did you get it? Because I want some too. Yeah. That, that didn't enter into the argument. Yeah. Uh -uh. It was no, just, just, you can't. Yeah. Well, I did. Good. Yeah. No, you didn't. I, by God, I did. That's where I got it. <laughs> I almost probably led to a shootout. <laughs> Um, I think I think it's very nice though. I like it. <laughs> um, I was surprised by it, and like you say, it's approachable. Um, I think well, it it's, almost tastes like a forty percent. Yeah, EV. yeah, forty three point three percent. I mean, it's not that much higher, um, which is fine. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a really good sipper. It is. How much is this now? The market uh, uh, sixty. Mm. Yeah, a little high. Little high, yeah. forty dollars would be oh, better. That's perfect, close. that'd be perfect. Mm. Mm. Time for the iPad. That's good. That would be a great entry dram. I get a lot of folks trying whiskey for their first time, not mixed in Coke at my house. And that's interesting. Although I got to tell you, a lot of times I use the uh, Black Barrel Jameson as their first tasting, and that's $39.95. It, but it's got a lot of caramel. I have not seen your score, although it's in my periphery. I think there's a zero in it. I like it. 88. I want 89. Oh, no, I thought close. Yeah. No, um, it's right there to breaching that 90 mark, which to me, the 90 mark signals, you know, the A's. Um, it's right there. Good, good palette. Nice and smooth. Start to finish. Good finish. It hangs in there for a little bit. Little light at the 43.3%. But I think the port uh, finishing... Is coming through on it. It's just really kind of mellowing everything out, adding an extra layer of sweetness to it. That's good. It's definitely mellowed it. It's great though. It's a very good taster. Um, in combination with everything, I would agree it's too expensive. If it was coming in at forty dollars, I would have it always on the bar. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. At mm -hmm. sixty. Um, it's for too mellow for yeah, me. For yeah. me. Bump the ABV. Make it 50% and sell mm. it for 60 bucks. Okay. That'd be interesting. Yeah. 
wonder what that would do to it. Have they done any kind of uh, barrel proof versions that you're aware of? Mm, Angels Envy. I know they have a rye. They have the port finished bourbon. It's got a real nice buttered popcorn after. I mean, there's nothing bad. Everything here I, I really like. I did have a sample. They had a rum finished. I think it was a rye. Um, and it was to me that one, I just had a sample of it, but I found the rum fin rum cask finish was way, had too much influence on it hmm. and it really imparted a lot of the rum. Uh, this is really nice. Seasons. I echo in, put it out, out at 50 ABV that mm. gives you the, the price adjustment at 60. Um, if it didn't mess with anything it did and just gave it a little extra kick, that would be perfection. We uh, should call that the dummies release. By the way, thanks to Terry, my neighbor, who uh, bought this for us. Way to go, Terry. Yeah, he showed, came over the other day. He said, He found it here. here. You go. Yeah. You can't get it in this market. <laughs> yeah, that's what I go. But you didn't get that here. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Yeah. He's like, My did. God, I did. Yeah, and slapped you. <laughs> Was it a backhand or a forehand? Boom. Um, traveling dummy. This is a nice one. Yep. And uh, this is Chris Banks. Mm. Uh, we met him at the Bon Accord in Glasgow. We did. He I've, sent us pictures in the Yeah, past. I've got a Lancaster picture. It's kind of hidden behind one of the bottles over there. And I've got a book of wildlife photos that he's taken over there. I like that he's perched on a split rail fence. Is it split rail? Looks split rail. E or is yeah. It a, oh, no, that's and not then, a split rail, though. That's even got chicken wire. Well, chicken wire on it. They've got chickens in there. That's just like a, a straight slap fence. Uh, let's see. He says we were. He <laughs> says I I missed out on the twelve hours of boom. Oh. we were on holiday on the outer. Hmm? The Breedies, yeah. he, he rides. Yeah, sounds good. I think you were right. South Scotland. The internet internet signal was not good, but mm. I'll catch up on the replay. Wow. Uh, we broke our journey back home to Derbyshire with a visit to the Ardenham Merchant Distillery. Mm. And uh, he's traveling with coin number 588, cask four. Yep. Now, I noticed when we were over there, one of the differences. I like that sentence, first of all. When we were over there? Yeah. I learned that holiday, they'll just be like we were on holiday. Well, we say vacation. Vacation or just the weekend, I think, as well. I think they even use um, they, holiday. I like those people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so vacation. Say, it's I holiday. think holiday is a vacation. It means at least a week. Okay, does it? At least a week. That could I think. be. That could be. But yeah, I am curious if we say, because uh, what would we call if we just went for the weekend? What would we call it? A weekender? We don't really call it that. Though. Yeah, I suppose you might use it. I mean, if you actually went somewhere, you could say, "Well, I was on. I was in. Uh, I went, we went down to the port for vacation." Hmm. Holiday indicates, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving. For us, yeah. yeah. If we're on holiday, it's one of the, the 12. Yeah. And really not even that. It's almost one of the four. Christmas, Thanksgiving, because you don't lump Easter in there. You don't ever say it was on holiday. No. Uh, Fourth, Fourth of July, July. But you don't usually a do a holiday weekend is what they, I don't know. Yeah. It's good, though. Yeah. But yeah, when they say we're on holiday, they mean a week-long vacation. Yeah, some folks office. in Europe taking a month. Can you imagine that? Everybody just gets a month off. You just take it. Yeah. Mm. Let well, us know if holiday means even just the weekend. If you said I went to Spain on holiday, could that mean just the weekend? So I would assume at least Roy? a week. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody over there will have more, many comments, many many comments. And then I want to know. Here's the deal in the comments. If you're from another country, what do they call it? What else could it be? Mm, yeah. What would you Good call it? What I else could no I was on excursion. Yeah. <laughs> My parents went away on a week's vacation. <laughs> Movie quote. It's an old song. Mm. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. No wonder I didn't know that one. All right. <laughs> Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Wait, do we have a Patreon shout out to do? Um, there were a few that came in, but why don't we catch it up on the next, next one? Yeah. Help support us. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Check out our merchandise and support us on Patreon. By the way, if you're looking, the, uh, the t-shirt thing underneath YouTube mm. is legit. Mm. And I'm forgetting because ours is spread shirt, but they have tea, tea teespring. Spring. Yeah. Teespring is legit. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of people looking, but not buying. That's the, right at the bottom there. Yeah. That's our, that's our t-shirt. It is. Shop. It's our t-shirt. We get the proceeds. That's legit. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can buy them there as well. Yep. I like how they display them. Scotch it. Use Scotch Cats. Salacha. Nice. Dummies. Dummies.